Let's open and close up my North American Giant Millipedes. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Zoe. Most people know me as the A-Reptiles, and this is one of my many North American Giant Millipedes. So I've gotten a lot of questions about my millipedes. And yes, for a while there, they did disappear. If you're new to the channel, back in the fall for Halloween, I ended up acquiring a couple North American giant millipedes. And I got them as adults. No idea how old they were. So one by one over winter, they kind of passed on, if you will. And come spring, I didn't have any left. But thanks to a local family, I have now acquired quite a few North American giant millipedes. And with this new setup, we're gonna try things differently because not only were they all adults and wild con, I didn't know how old they were, but I also found out I did make some mistakes with my care. So this spring when I went to Flora Fauna over here in New York, I actually spoke to someone that breeds North American giant millipedes and he gave me some tips from his trial and error of keeping them. And so far, it's been working great. So if you didn't know, I have an education business where I primarily talk about reptiles and amphibians, but I do have some inverts that I bring with me as well. Now, I absolutely love using millipedes for my programs. I think they're like the coolest little inverts, and I wish so badly that I could have an African giant millipede, but unfortunately that is illegal in New York State. So the North American giant millipedes are the best I can really do, but they're still super cool and bigger than let's say bumblebee millipedes. So they serve their purpose. So like I said, I have been getting a lot of questions about millipedes. So if you have any video requests about these guys, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to add it to my list. So for their new enclosure, we are using a tarantula crib setup. So quick shout out to tarantula cribs. They are the newest sponsor of my education business. They donated four different invertebrate displays for my business so that I can more easily transport my inverts to programs in a way that allows really good viewing for the audience and for people coming to see the animals. Now this one is a big boy. This is a 12 by 8 by 8 with a sliding lid and these particular enclosures actually stack which is super cool. And you'll be able to see that in my enclosure review video once I review the tarantula cribs enclosures. So we're gonna go ahead and put this guy back so that we can get into the video. So real quick, I do want to point out, I'm going to mention this in my review video too, but their packaging, I love their packaging, but even more so these enclosures because they have a handle. Like look at that. I am obsessed with the fact that this has a handle. I don't know what it is, but I love it. So big thank you to Tarantula Cribs for sending over this enclosure. Now this one is actually for one of my other inverts but he's not quite big enough for it yet so it's going to the millipedes for now and then when he gets bigger they're going to do a flip-flop if you want to know what that invert is subscribe to the channel so you don't miss upcoming videos because it is an unannounced invertebrate and his setup video will kind of be his announcement all right so here is our tarantula cribs display the 12 by 8 by 8 with a sliding top did you see how easily that slid off it is amazing so the stuff i'm using is a mix of terra arania from the bio dude and some substrate that they already came with. Now the Terra Rainia that I'm using, I had already mixed some of it with some leaf litter, which is why you're seeing some leaves being dumped in there. But I'm gonna do about half of their substrate with this Terra Arania, which is a bioactive substrate from the Bio Dude. And then I'm going to use the substrate that the millipedes are currently in to fill it the rest of the way. So here is our tub of millipedes, obviously not quite as pretty as what they are moving into because these tarantula crib setups look so nice, but there's my millipedes. These are my American giant or North American giant millipedes. They are so cool. I love using them for education programs. I love talking about all their little legs and I don't know, I just really love millipedes, which is funny because they used to terrify me. And then I had to get used to an African giant millipede during my zoo days. So now the little millipedes don't bother me at all. So what I'm doing right now is just pulling out all of their wood because millipedes do eat rotting wood. So I'm pulling out all these chunks so that I can then remove all of the millipedes that I see, remove any of the moss. Right now I'm just moving moss over. That way I can get to the top layer of dirt because it is full of millipede poop. So I'm gonna go ahead and scoop out that top layer, try to clean out some of the poop. That way their new enclosure is starting fresh and clean. So 
So once I have that top layer removed, I'm just digging around looking for any millipedes I may have missed before dumping this all into the new setup. So when I talked to a breeder at the Flora Fauna Conference earlier this year, something he told me he found out with these guys is deeper substrate is critical. That is how he has found the most success with these guys, keeping them and breeding them. So that's what we're trying out this time. We're trying to go much deeper. I think that's where I went wrong last time. So we're gonna give it a try. And so far it seems to be working great. Like I said, this has been set up for like three weeks now. So I think the deeper substrate is doing wonders. And then we're just adding in some rotting wood because these guys are decomposers. So this is gonna be the main source of food for them. And I just have a gallon Ziploc baggie that I keep on hand that I collected from some local trails actually. So not too hard to get. You don't pay an arm and a leg, just go outside and find some rotting wood. And then we can go ahead and put the millipedes in. And I just, I love, love, love how it turned out. I just, I love everything about these displays. And that's a wrap on our millipede setup. So we're gonna slide that lid right back on and it locks into place with magnets in the back that hold the lid nice and secure. So I love everything about this and love how it turned out. So this is the final product. It needs some refreshing. This thing has actually been set up for close to three weeks now. So I do need to freshen it up, get some millipede poop out of there, add some more rotting wood, leaves, moss, you name it. So it needs some refreshing, but I still love it. It works amazingly. The millipedes are all thriving. I haven't had anyone die. Actually, I think I saw breeding yesterday, so that would be super cool. Um, if I could just start breeding them, that would be amazing. But I brought this thing to programs already, had it on display, and it made it super easy for everyone to watch the millipedes. And the millipedes have been so active. The humidity has been perfect. They're always all over the wood, so people always get to see them, which is so cool. So it has worked out amazingly. Have you used tarantula cribs enclosures? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you for the next video. Bye!